hi guys welcome back to my channel journey with Kelleen. so today i am taking matthew to an appointment before i take him to school <laughs> then i'm going to of course take him to school hopefully after the appointment and then from the appointment no yeah. from school i'm going to pick him up for him to go to therapy right <laughs> plus i really can't miss today because they're coming to do a uh, evaluation. We're going to talk about what, what, um, what they call it, Walker is going to get. Yes, a Walker is in the process. It has been a while. And each time, I think the last two sessions we had, we had to cancel. Oh, that too, when I had to take him to the emergency room, that they had to cancel. He was supposed to be seen by this person that time. But anyhow, guys, <laughs> crazy day today, and I'm taking you along, right? Yes. Huh. So today we're going to see the nurse practitioner to check up on his wound, and also we did a MRI recently, and of course we'll hear if everything is okay. It's open. Okay. Let's go, Matthew. Huh? Go back. Go back? Yes. Oh, you want to show me? Yeah. All right. You're going to school afterwards? <laughs> You're going to school? Yeah. When we're all done? Yeah. All right. Huh? Oh, you want to go see how much you weigh? You want to go on the scale? Yeah. Go. <laughs> good. That means it's not growing. Yes. Awesome. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay. I'm taking him back to school, but oh. you know it would be perfect. Yeah, just in case, because you know how they are. Yes, <laughs> that's right. So, Matt, uh -huh. your head was okay, good size, no growing. Yeah. Nice. That's how we like it. Yeah. Yes. Once it's not growing, I mean you know, good sign there, because the head is already big enough, right? Do you want it to get any bigger? Yeah. You want your head to get bigger? Yeah. Come on, look how big is your head, huh? Buff. Mm hmm So you're going to wait on the doctor now? Yeah. Yeah, and then he's going to tell you how your MRI went? Hmm? What? Out the window? Yeah, but are yes. Okay. It's coming along. Okay, it's getting smaller. Let me see, Matt, Matt. I just, you know, yeah. I only worry if you ever see any, any piece, like, because it's thin there, right? Mm -hmm. I want it to heal up, but we worry about part of the shunt like coming through. Yes. And that's why that's why I'm keeping a close eye on you. The other day I had to take yeah. him to the emergency room. Right. Yeah. Because he... Daddy took him to the emergency room? No, I had to take him there because he mm -hmm. it like a dresser, you know, and then it was just bleeding and then it opened. It opened here? When? Oh. How long did I take you? I don't know. You might see it in the chat. I don't remember, but was it's it, recently. Was it since before? I mean, before after. I saw you or after? After. Oh. No, yeah, but it was scary, so I was like, let me take him to the emergency room. <laughs> yeah, but this, what did they say? It was okay. They did a x-ray, uh -huh. and nothing was not wrong. Nothing was damaged, nothing like that. So it was okay. Good. But yeah, um, it was a scary. new MRI showed that the, the subdural collections are getting better. So okay. that's good. Um, okay. we have a, we have a, we have him on a, a setting of seven, so we're going to just keep, keep it like that. There. Good. Um, repeat the imaging in three months. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the setting, like if you want to change it, how do you change it? Is it the same magnetic thing? Right. Because it's it, not programmed. It, does, it doesn't, it's not programmable. Right. It doesn't, it's not affected by the MRI, so I don't have to check the settings or anything now. It stays, it stays like that. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying like, if you need to... God forbid that you need to change the settings. How do you do that we, then? We shouldn't need to um, change the settings. Um, but? 
it, it should be fine. It's no, no, no. I know it's fine, yeah, no, and everything. Yeah. I'm just saying we because could you. In the future, if we had to, yes. But how would you do it? You'd have to go back in, or do you just put the magnet and change it? How do you do um, it? I believe we could put a magnet and change it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I really asked him because yeah. um, I remember you saying it wasn't like programmable, so yeah. Right. That's why. But by that is because if he has an MRI. Um, yeah, then I'll have to come in yeah, and they'll have to, to yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It's compatible with, it, with that. Yes. With you hear that, Mama? Easy. Yeah. All right. Well, yes. Well. You want my phone? Yeah. But I am using my phone. <laughs> so you got to wait, right? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. The collection size is down. This was bigger and now it's a smaller. Okay. So that's good. Yeah, I can see that for real. Yeah. Now yep. let me feel feel here so i just want this scab to continue to get better i Again, think you rub off if you ever thing. worry about um if you ever worry about some of the shunt it's showing the then area then i always want you to keep an eye out right yes if you yes. see anything you can call us because we're right. always available Again, I want to see you get into two into yes so, I, so I, I i would like worry, that too okay i want you to call me if you have any concerns Mm -hmm. We're waiting. We're waiting for them to take the um, car. Okay? Matt. The car will be here soon, okay? Say hello. Hello. So we are finished with our appointment. And I'm going to take Matthew now to school. And then finish with the rest of my day, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Right, so let's head to school. Mm. Okay, so we are at to school and I'm going to take him inside for him to finish his day at school. Okay, guys. So I'm at Matthew's appointment. We're trying to get him a walker. So today a representative from National City Mobility will be here and we will take some measurement for this walker now the process i know will take forever yes <laughs> but hopefully as soon as they put in the notes and all that send it off to the insurance the insurance won't take take too long but that's where the that's where the hold up is for all of you know once you got to go through the insurance that's when because it's almost like they got to make sure he needs it stuff like that like you know things that should be simple it's very difficult when you have to do deal with the insurance so it's important too that the therapist whenever she writes the notes and or the report to send into the insurance you know make it be precise and clear and you know state all the reasons there is that he really needs this walker for them to really go through with it and don't deny him previously he had a gate trainer but he outgrows that gate trainer and this walker that we're trying to get him he'll be able to use it for some time also we we'll able to transport it the way i transport his wheelchair presently and also he'll be able to use it at school because ultimately i would love to see him get out of that wheelchair you know i love to see him at least use a walker and of course walk but even if he doesn't walk right if he's able to maneuver that that walker the way he does with the wheelchair then i'll be more than happy i'll be more than grateful like can't complain right but it will be easier to take him to the playground and you know play with kids and it will be easier at school for him plus um one of the criteria that i wanted and also this came from his school was to make sure that when they're they're gonna get him this walker get a seat on it so if he's on the playground you know you can sit instead of to stand because again he won't be able to stand forever right so that's that was like my only question there i like you know love for it to have a seat and he made sure that they can request to get a seat on it and stuff and that's the beauty about equipment sometimes you can modify it so much i mean 
I get why sometimes they're so expensive, but at the same time, I still don't understand why they have to be that expensive. But when you think of the way they may make these things, right? Um, and for the for the child to like grow into them, right? And also all the modifications that can take place with these equipment. Like for instance, Matthew wheelchair. We had to modify it and put two brakes at the back. And guess what now? <laughs> right now, Matthew actually figure out how to unbrake the back brakes, right? We put it there because it would just bump into you, especially if he's excited and stuff like that. He'll just bump into you. And if you tell him to stay right there, he will move off and go wherever he wants. So we decided to get the back brake so that was a modification for the wheelchair i remember too when we were trying to get it they were like they weren't even sure how they were going to do it but guess what they found a way and it was able to modify they found brakes that was able to put at the back and then you could actually um lock the wheelchair that way he can't move it from the back and it will still have the front brakes that he normally operates so as I said, I get why sometimes these things are so expensive because of all the, you know, the technicalities, all the little bits and pieces that they take in consideration. But at the same time, I still believe that they are way overpriced, right? But anyhow, I'm grateful that the wheelchair process has started and who knows, sometime in next year, I know before you'll get it, but I'll sure to update you guys when he gets this wheel, this walker, sorry. Oh, beautiful. Good mood. Right, Ma? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, video taping you for daddy. Okay, so, yes. that, we're going to get you the, the seat and the anti tipper so the chair doesn't, you know, doesn't flip back. Okay. And it's, it's going to be foldable and very good for him. So, we, I'm going to make sure that we get the correct size so he has room to grow. Yes, yes please. Please. That mm -hmm. was probably our biggest one. And because this walker, can this walker also go to school? And she can keep yes, it Yes, definitely. Home Need something for school. Yeah, I can use it at school, at home, whatever. Okay, perfect. How, how should, um, he's going to be transitioning, if we can, from the wheelchair to the walker. What should be the easiest way she should transition? 30 minutes first and then little by little. Then, yeah, yeah. Because he doesn't have the endurance to walk so no. much. Right. No, no, little by little. You can just start, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, uh, you know, depending on how he, how he feels and and you start to go from there. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So little by little. Okay, ma, let's get home, right? What number? Two. No, we're at two. What number? Two. No, we're at two. One. Good. Nice. Nice. What you got there? I can't. We are heading home. Finally, our day is Bye. over, right? Bye. Yes. Okay. Did Miss Katty give that to you? Yeah. Really? You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> say hi, YouTube. <laughs> You're all done now? Uh, You're going home? Yeah. We're going home? Mm hmm? Mama. We ready? <laughs> we are heading home, guys. We are heading home. I mean... It has been a long day, but we are going home. <laughs>